Hi, good morning. Lee Brower here. Welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here. I am glad to be here. You know, I've enjoyed chatting with you over the last several weeks on the unique characteristics of leadership that are embedded within the Empowered Wealth Mindset. We talked about being grateful in, not just being grateful for, but beyond that, being grateful in no matter what our circumstances, without comparison and without expectation. We've talked about being true wealth based, being able to understand what are those things that we value most in our lives and being able to make the decisions that pursue those. The third thing is being vision driven, being able to have this vision that's like the horizon, our biggest purpose that transcends our current situation, our current business or occupation or profession, but able to look out into that future. And as we move closer to that future, being able to move it forward and make appropriate decisions, you know, it's easier to make great decisions in the present when we have a meaningful future. Much more difficult without that. The fourth area was be, be curious. Curi being curious is essential. When we stop being curious, we stop living. And so being curious, the ability to be a lifelong learner, the ability to ask ourselves to cope. Curiosity brings coping skills because we ask questions of, I wonder why that person is saying that to me. What's going on in their life? Or I might be saying to myself, why is this happening now? What can I learn from it? How can I learn from it? That's where we get strength from curiosity. The fourth one we're going to talk about today is compassion. Now, many times we confuse empathy with compassion. We hear empathy talked about in leadership. We must have empathy. But I really enjoy the definition that the Dalai Lama gives. Jinpa, who is the English translator for the Dalai Lama, J-I-N-P-A, um, defines compassion as follows. It's the mental state endowed with a sense of concern for the suffering of others with the aspiration to see that that suffering is relieved. Empathy is the desire to know somebody else. It's the desire to know the other person. Compassion is to act on that knowledge with positive intent. Break down, let's break down uh, compassion into three different components. You have the cognitive component. I understand you. You have the affective component. I feel for you. And then you have the motivational component. I want to help you. You know, leadership is less about telling people what they need to do and much more about telling them about forming a relationship with them, really, not telling them anything. It's instead of telling them what to do, it's about forming a relationship with them so that they can motivate themselves to do what is required. And how do you develop that relationship? How do you build that relationship? You build it with compassion and connectivity. And it starts from within. You have to understand what you're about. You have to go inside of you to make sure you're okay, to be able to go outside, to be able to make sure others are okay and to be able to help them. And so it starts with looking at yourself in the mirror, really. Look at yourself and say, who are you? Who are you? Who are you really? Who, what are you all about? Who are you? How are you? Really? I mean, be honest. And once we have a true understanding of ourselves, then we can get a better understanding of others. Jonathan Haidt, a researcher from New York University, H-A-I-D-T, shows that by someone helping another person, by someone being compassionate with somebody else, it creates a heightened sense of well-being with those that they observe. In other words, by we, we get a, we get a, he calls it elevation. Not only do we feel elevation when we see someone do something compassionate, but we are more likely to act compassionate ourselves. So within our families, as we, as we are compassionate with others, our family will be, have a tendency to be more compassionate themselves. In the workplace, it's the same way. But you know, I was talking with, I have the amazing opportunity to meet with what I call entrepreneurial, uh, gratitude entrepreneurs. And I spend a two day horizon intensity with them, helping them see their true horizon. And last week I was with this amazing entrepreneur and she was sharing with me how she had gone out with her two daughters, teenage daughters, and had gone out with trays of hot chocolate, coffee, and tea, and had delivered them to the homeless, giving on the street, giving them their choice, because she said that choice is such an important element for everybody, and she didn't want to take choice away by just giving them what she had. Let them choose of the three. 
How compassionate is that? Has so impressed me that I was elevated, wanting to do more acts of kindness, more acts of compassion. What a great way to motivate people. And um, two social scientists from UC Davis and Harvard, they talked about acts of generosity, compassion, and kindness, how they beget more generosity in a chain reaction of goodness. And that's how culture is formed. Good decisions, good decisions of compassion generate, uh, beget more decisions of compassion. And the reality is powerful leaders, powerful leaders like you, among other traits, have the conviction, the confidence, and the courage to cultivate connectivity and compassion. Let's have a compassionate, meaningful week. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.